underway, the easiest way of filling in a table of values is to use the table function in your calculator. So you need to find, um, first of all, mode, and then you go and then you look for table. And what you'll see on your screen is f of x equals, and you then type in x cubed. Now, in order to do x cubed, you're going to need to press alpha, and then the x is your right-hand bracket. Okay, so you, that'll give you an x. You then do it to the power 3, so type in x cubed. And now you want to have minus, and then just type 3, and then alpha x again, um, and then square it, and then plus 5. Okay, it'll then ask you where you'd like to start. Um, so you say that you're going to start, well, we're not really interested in minus 2, minus 1, so you start at um, 2, you end at 4, and it says step, so you're, you're going to go up in steps of 1, and then you just press equals on your calculator, and you will get 1, 5, and 21. It's worth learning to do that, it's only worth 2 marks, it's not worth making the mistake. You then have to plot the remaining points, well, you're going to have to plot 2, 1. If you look at the scale here, 5 is there, so 10 squares is the same as 5, so each square, each two squares is worth one unit, so 2, 1 is there. You're then going to plot 3, 5, well 3, 5 is going to be here, and then 4, 21, well there's 20, and two squares on from that would be 21. Now remember it's a smooth curve, that you've already drawn part of it, so all you need to do now is go through that point there, and up, and through the last point. OK, um, part C is easy because the curve that you've drawn is actually y equals x cubed minus 3x squared plus 5. And so if you're asked to solve this equation, well, you're going to find out where y equals x cubed minus 3x squared plus 5, which is the left-hand side, where that equals 0 or where y equals 0. Well, that's the same as the x-axis. So all they're saying here is where does the curve cross the x-axis? Well, there's only one solution, and that's here, okay? And that is at about minus 1.1. So x is minus 1.1. You can't really be more accurate than that. The question then says, by drawing a suitable straight line on the grid, find an estimate for this equation. Now, the easiest way to do that is this. First of all, write down the equation of the curve that you have drawn, which is y equals x cubed minus 3x squared plus 5. Then write down the equation of the, um, the equation that you're trying to solve. Match up the sides, though. So I'm going to have um, I'm going to have zero over this side, and then on the right hand side, I'm going to have the rest of it, which is x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x plus 4. Okay, and I now think of that as equation 1, that as equation 2. I'm going to do 1 take away 2. So, first of all, y take away 0, well that's just y. x cubed take away x cubed, well that disappears. Minus 3x squared minus minus 3x squared, gone. I'm now going to do 5, and I'm going to subtract these two, so it's 5 take away 2x take away 4. Now that's the same as y equals, well 5 take away 4 is 1, and 1 minus 2x. So that is the line that I need to draw. So back to the line, I am going to now draw the line y equals 1 minus 2x. Now I could um, make a table of values, um, might be the easiest way of doing it. Let's put, let's put in some values. Okay, so when x is 0, y is going to be 1 take away 2 zeros. Well, 1 take away nothing is 1, so my line goes through 0, 1. Or I could use the fact that um, the equation is in the form y equals mx plus c. The intercept is 1 here, so I know that I've got a graph that goes through 1. OK, um, now I can either then use gradient or intercept. First of all, if x is 1, let's make a table of values. 1 take away 2 lots of 1. Well, 1 take away 2 is actually minus 1. So the graph also goes through 1 minus 1. Now, min 1 minus 1 is here. OK, um, I can also see that the gradient is minus 2, so which means that it goes downhill. OK, and this is 2 and this is 1. So we go down two squares and across one. So from here, from this point here, I'm going to go across one 
and up two so that takes me to two and so on um oops sorry thought that didn't look right um if the gradient is minus two it goes one to the left and two up sorry about that which takes me up to three here okay so forget that one if i now join those points up with a straight line here we go okay that is the line y equals one minus two x you've got to have drawn enough of the line to convince me that you know where the line is where the line then meets the curve is at this point here and you are allowed and if you go down here and read it off the graph it comes out as about minus 0 0.8 so the x value there x is minus 0 0.8 and i think you are allowed to have anywhere between minus 0 0.7 and minus 0 0.9